On Thursday, the Indian Supreme Court gave a significant verdict. It allowed an unmarried woman to terminate her 24-week pregnancy. So how did this case reach the Indian top court? The woman says the pregnancy was a result of a consensual relationship, but then her partner refused to marry her, so she wanted to terminate her pregnancy. Her fear was stigmatization in society. So she first approached the Delhi High Court. The High Court denied her the permission to abort. It said it virtually amounts to killing the fetus. In India, the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act came into force in 1972. It allows termination of pregnancy for all women in the first 20 weeks. But only certain categories of women are allowed to have an abortion between 20 to 24 weeks. The act, amended in 2021, mentions seven categories of women. Survivors of sexual assault or rape or incest, minors, those who have a change of marital status during the ongoing pregnancy, women with physical disabilities, mentally ill women, women carrying malformed fetus, and women pregnant in disasters or emergency situations. Now, while the law recognizes the change in relationship status, it is only for married women. It does not talk about the situation for unmarried women. This is the gap that the Supreme Court addressed with its verdict. It says the 2021 amended MTP Act includes the word partner instead of husband. Thus, it cannot confine the issue to situations arising only out of matrimonial relationships. It says the woman cannot be denied the benefit of the law only because she is unmarried. Mm -hmm. This is a significant judgment by India's apex court, especially as an assault against women's reproductive rights continues across the world. More than 36 million have, have uh, been losing their right to a safe abortion as the United States overturned the landmark Roe versus Wade ruling. This month, a 10-year-old rape survivor from Ohio had to cross state lines to get an abortion. This was after her home state banned the procedure after the Supreme Court ruling. The U.S. House of Representatives now passed a new bill. This is to protect access to contraception. It now believes that the right to contraception could be threatened by the American Supreme Court. The bill will give people access to contraceptives across the country. This comes as some state legislatures have introduced bills to restrict access to contraceptives. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.